What is going on YouTube? In today's video, I'll be taking you guys to everybody's favorite thing to train. It's leg day. Squats. Yep. It's not leg press. It's not leg extensions. It's not leg curls. But the squat. The squat is the king. I repeat, the king of all leg moves. So you can't beat squats. No, you can't replace squats with squats with any other exercise. So if you don't have a major injury and you can't perform squats, you should do it. So um, I started warming up with just a bar. That's what I used to do with any barbell exercise. Just a bar, just to get the, everything, uh, the nice feel of it, just to get the feel of the exercise. And right after that, I jumped it off with one plate, and uh, after that, two plates, three plates, three plates and a quarter. And my top set today, my goal today, was to hit three sets of three reps with uh, four plates. Previously, I've had uh, two sets of three reps, and uh, it's been a struggle, man. So lately, I've been, I've been kind of stuck on making progress when it comes to leg day, when it comes to legs, and lower body development. But today was a good day, man. I, I managed to hit three, three sets of three reps, so that was good. So the first set, the first set uh, went well, the second set uh, went okay, and the third set was just a struggle you're going to see right now. So right after squats, we jumped it off with uh, stiff leg deadlifts. It is a deadlift variation that focuses mainly on the hamstring and the glutes. And uh, yeah, my, I didn't have a set goal here. My goal was just to get anything from between uh, six to 15 reps. I just wanted to get the burn of it. I just want, I just want to feel the exercise and uh, so-called work in the bodybuilding rep ranges just to build muscle, but it's not, it's not the case. I will get to that in another video. So, yeah, I just did anywhere from between 6 to 15 reps where I just felt the exercise. And again, it's just what you do after squats is really important. You can't just focus on squats and neglect all the accessory movements. Everything you do after squats is just as important as the squats part of the workout. So, yeah, stiff leg deadlifts. The stiff leg stiff leg deadlifts is a great exercise just to assist the squats so basically if you get stronger at the stiff leg deadlift you will eventually perform better at the squat so yeah that's what we did and uh, what do we do after that leg press um, leg press I see a lot of people just load up place on the leg press and doing a bunch of half reps and in my opinion you shouldn't really do that. What you want to focus on with the leg press is you want to focus on controlling the weight and what that means is basically you just you're not swinging around, you're not locking out your knees. You may look like uh, I'm locking out my knees in the clip but I'm actually not. What you want to do is you just again just like stiff leg deadlifts you want to just rep it out. You just want to feel a burn and you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to go all the way over 20 reps, 30 reps. That's just that's just gonna build endurance. That's that's not gonna build muscle. That's that's not our goal. So what you want to do is you want to do anything from between. You can even go down to six reps, six to 20 reps maximum. So I did three sets there. I did basically I did, I did three sets of all the other exercises except for the squats because squats just takes a lot more time. You have to warm up. You have to build up to that top weight. And yeah, after after like this we're I did, after leg press, I did um, leg extensions. So, leg extensions is just a good exercise to pump those quads up with, up with uh, blood. It's a good way to just squeeze and what you want to do, I've, I've, I've actually injured myself doing leg extensions before. I've had uh, tendonitis on my left knee and uh, it, it basically prevented me from doing squats or any other leg movement. I had to take a three month break from basically training legs. 
and you don't want that to happen. So when you're doing leg extensions, you want to make sure that you're controlling the weight. If you use a heavy weight, there is, there's a high chance that you might injure yourself and you don't want that. So I just do anything from between 10 to 20 reps. That's it, man. I just do 20, 10 to 20 reps and I just try to get the feel of it. Pump some blood, get, get a pump. That's the goal here. So after that, I did calves, calf races. Calf races is just one of those things that I lack. Basically. I have no calves, deep no calves. Seriously. So form is really important. When you're training calves, it's such a small muscle group that you wanna, you wanna control the weight fully during the whole range of motion. So what I mean by that is you can see on the clip that I squeeze at the top and I hold it at the bottom. You don't have to hold it for three or five seconds. You just have, you just need a slight hold at the top and slight hold at the bottom. After calf races, we did our last exercise of the day, which is hamstring curls. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, keep filming. So yeah, we did hamstring curls, and on this particular day, the machine that I usually use was uh, broken, so I had to improvise. I had to use another machine, but that worked out just fine. So. Hamstrings, your goal should be to do anywhere from between, just like leg extensions or uh, any other exercise that's not squats, that's not a compound movement. You just want to focus on doing 8 to 15 reps, 8 to 20 reps even. It's all up to you how you feel that particular day. So my goal here was just to squeeze at the top, contract the muscle, and just control the weight down. So I did three sets on each leg and that was basically it, man. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something new or just enjoy the video. And uh, yeah, man, I will be uh, putting out uh, tutorials on how to do the different types of different variations of squats back squat, front squat, uh, high bar, low bar. There's a lot of different variations on how to perform the squat, and I will be showing this in another video. But yeah, man, hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you like the video. If you like the video, make sure to like the video. And yeah, man, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. Yeah, man, I think that I think that's it. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.